Kea Ohana is one of five state forest reserves in the Puna district. It's the largest and the most intact of native lowland rainforests in the entire state of Hawaii, and that is below 1,000 feet. Kea Ohana is a critical habitat for many native, rare, and endangered species, and for that reason, it's very important that we preserve it. There are many, many species here in Hawaii that actually evolved here over millions of years and that are not found anywhere else in the world. A healthy ecosystem is one that has a lot of biodiversity, many, many species coexisting together. The problem with invasive species is that they, they tend to have an aggressive nature and um, to dominate uh, the landscape and eventually replace the native flora. What we're doing here is trying to preserve a native rainforest. And to me, as the earth faces the crises of our day, almost nothing is more important than preserving some natural native habitat. And here in Hawaii, besides the pressures from development, there's also a tremendous pressure from invasive species. So to take care of and to preserve a native Hawaiian forest requires getting rid of the weeds as an ongoing effort. And that's what this group is doing. We began our efforts in 2014 on an intensive level. And our crew now is on the third pass of the 30 acres. A lot of our efforts include the control of invasive species. And that means hand pulling and composting of many, many weeds. So the key invasive species in Kea Ohana are Vaivi, also known as strawberry guava. I think most professionals would agree that this is probably the worst weed we have in Hawaii. And this comes to the compost pile because every part of the Vaivi is a propagule, which means if you lie it down, it'll take root. We have uh, the Clydemia. This is a very young Clydemia. They get up to eight feet tall and Clydemia is actually one of the target species, the understory bush. Right in front of me here is a, a very typical Clydemia in a mature uh, state. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and pull up the root. Another problematic weed here is the Kukai Miley, it's also known as Pilau Miley, and so that is another one of our target weeds along with a good number of others. We also, when we cannot pull out the species, end up doing stem treatment, just basically cutting a circumference and applying a thin line of herbicide at the base. Our efforts also include native outplanting. We have a nursery led by Dr. Ann Kavsa, and that supplies us with a lot of the keiki that we need to reestablish the shade here. Where there is more light coming in, there's more weeds. That's basically how it goes. And I think a lot of us know about the rapid ohia death that is occurring on the island. And it is very strong here in Keao Ohana, unfortunately, and that began the year that we actually began our efforts. And so that's been a very interesting thing to observe as we've been doing the restoration. We have been facilitating groups of students and community groups to do restoration work here and learn about native species and issues of invasion. We have already taken care of all the large individuals, so our work today is going to be to get the babies, and there's millions of them. I'll pass these around so you guys can take a closer look at them, okay? What our ambition is, is to actually take care of the babies before they reach maturity so that the, the seed bank could diminish over time. One at a time. That's the way it's done. And it's amazing when you look at the end of the day, at the achievement, it's actually quite impressive. You know, one at a time becomes a lot. There's a lot of things that uh, the public can do to be helpful. We hold quarterly work parties here in the forest. And if you have a group of six to 12 people, it's possible to create your own event with us. 
And of course, if you can't make it into the forest to help with the restoration, we appreciate donations, and donations can be made through our website. And there's actually things that you can do right in your own backyard to be helpful to the lowland environment and to your local forest. That is to become aware of what the invasive species are and do your own control of invasive species. Also, to plant native species to help propagate them because plants aren't confined to our boundaries and so they will find their way. What you choose to plant in your own backyard has a tremendous impact on the future of Hawaii's environment. The rainforest and the forests around us, no matter where we are on the earth, is our well. It is our water source. It is what sustains our crops and therefore sustains us.